Per and polyfluorinated substances, also called PFAS, are characterized by a very high chemical resistance, making them popular materials for many applications. However, it's exactly their longevity that poses a challenge to our environment. They accumulate in soil, drinking water, and living organisms. Therefore, some subtypes such as perfluorooctanoic acid, PFOA, are already banned at European level and restrictions for other compounds will soon follow. Probably the most commonly used PFAS is polytetrafluoroethylene, PTFE, better known as Teflon. It is used for industrial applications like sealing rings and coatings in production tanks, but also in products of everyday life such as textiles and frying pans. With bans being implemented and increasing public environmental awareness, simple analytical methods are needed that quickly allow to verify the presence or absence of PFAS. And infrared spectroscopy is a perfect choice for this kind of chemical identification. It allows to identify different polymer types, for example to separate them for the purpose of recycling. And with Bruchus Alpha 2 or Invenio, you can easily determine if your sample is made from PFAS or contains it. In this video, we will check if an old outdoor jacket is made from or contains any PFAS type material. However, we could use many other samples, for example, a ceiling ring. To start, simply open the touch operated user interface and start the identification workflow. The identity of the material will be determined by the comparison of its spectrum against the database. Our database is the exclusive polymer library that was created in collaboration with the Kunststoff Institute Lüdenscheid. It contains reference polymer materials, including commonly used PFAS. Then you place your sample on the ATR crystal and apply pressure to ensure good contact. After that, you name your sample and start the measurement. A few seconds later, you will get the result about the material's chemical type. We can see now that the jacket doesn't contain any PFAS material. Now, when we check the ceiling ring, FTIR spectroscopy is telling us a different story. The material, unfortunately, contains PTFE, which means that if we want our facility to be PFAS-free, we have to replace it. Check our website if you need more information. And thank you for watching. Until next time.